Hey. Okay, so it's been a while since I've made a video. I got a new foster baby. She was one month old when I got her. Um, I was in the hospital with her for the first month and then she finally came to us at one month old. And she's three months now. So we are readjusting to a newborn. It has been a long time since we've had a newborn. And it's kicking my butt. <laughs> like, you forget how hard it is. So because of that, I had a routine that I usually had down. Um, I mean, that I usually did. And I made sure there was clumps and pre-baby. <laughs> Since, I have just been putting stuff in my hair and going, and that's like when I have actually had time to do that. So I kind of accidentally ran into this. I'm calling it the non-technique technique because there's not really a technique at all. I literally was just trying to get product in there as quick as possible and go. So um, before I just got out of the shower, I threw some clothes on and so my, my hair is still dripping in fact. Um, and so before what I would do, I would take the products and I'll show you which products I'm gonna use. And um, you will see in my other videos how I do the routine that I had down that I was doing all the time. But I would take, um, it would be soaking wet, like straight from the shower. And um, so these wouldn't be as stringy, like see how these strings are small, they'd be more clumped like this, right? I would take the product, I'd make sure to put it in like this and then scrunch it in and all of that. Mama don't have time for that. So I'm going to be using the Lus All-in-One. And yes, I got the Big Mama one because I ran out of the small one and they were selling a Big Mama one. So, hey, um, I use this every time. So I'm gonna be doing this first and I do the curly. There is wavy, curly, and kinky. So I got the curly one. Um, and then I'm gonna be using Camille Rose Curl Maker and the orange marmalade, flaxseed, and aloe. So those are the three things I'm gonna be using. And in the other videos, um, I'll have to go back. If I didn't use these same exact products, I'll do another video using these same exact products so you can see the difference um, when I do do the technique. Oh my gosh, I'm a boy mom. I was just in my head saying doo-doo. Mm -hmm. I have four boys, so what are you gonna do? Um, nope, I only have three and two girls. <laughs> I have four boys staying with me this week though. So, um, so this is what I do. Okay. So two pumps of this and you guys, nothing special. I literally just make sure it's all in there. No special technique, no special anything scrunch it in do it this side scrunch it in and then I think I'm gonna take one more pump of this and get it in there now I was sitting here talking so my hair feels a little bit dry right now so I might just spray a little more water on there as you can hear, there's still water in there because you can still hear that gross scrunching sound, but mm, maybe I'll hold off on the water. We'll see. Okay, so then Camille Rose, I'm just gonna do two pumps of that. Now, with the Camille Rose, sometimes I will replace it with the Curly Magic, the Uncle Funky's Curly Magic. They both really work the same for me. The only reason I'm using the Camille Rose right now instead of the Uncle Funky's is because I have more of it. So, and then I just do the same thing. I get it all in there. Nothing special. Scrunch it all in. And honestly, I think that even the scrunching is not super important right now because I'm gonna put another product in. And so I'm gonna straighten it out again and then scrunch it up again. So that might not even be the scrunching part too important, but I don't know, I just feel like I like doing it. So, okay, and now the orange marmalade, I take one pump of that, I put a little water in my hand and mix it in with that. Um, it can be a little bit drying. I think it's the aloe that's in it. Um, and that's another thing with the Uncle Funkies, there is the 
um, it can cause flash drying as well. So I don't like using those two together too much because then it really causes drying. So, and I just go in and scrunch it all up. Hence the no technique technique because literally I didn't section it. I didn't do anything special. I just raked it all in and scrunched it all up. So, and that's it. That is it for the product. Um, I, I don't think it's feeling too dry, so I'm not even gonna add any more water. And now I'm just gonna go straight to diffusing um, because my, air, my hair does not air dry well. <laughs> so, um, well that and it takes forever. So, um, now I'm just gonna get straight to diffusing and be done. So a little tip for diffusing. Um, when I, when I do it this way, there is less water in my hair and so it definitely dries faster. Um, but sometimes that means like I get wonky pieces like this. So I'll just grab a shirt. Um, usually the one I've used, so it's a little bit damp. Um, sometimes I'll grab my silk scarf, but today is laundry day, so I don't have it. So this shirt will do. And I just come in and I scrunch it like that. And when I use um, the Dyson diffuser, I can't leave it. So when I use my um, Black Orchid, I sit there and I sit with it on and I sit for a few seconds. I get impatient, so I just too long. And I stop and I do another thing. Even on the lowest setting, this kind of gets hotter than I like it. So I'll just go in. And just keep it a few seconds there. Not. And I try to be gentle. Oh, baby girl's waking up. Um, I try to be gentle and don't like do it too much. And when, even when I put it up, I hold it um, and bring it up to my head softly because um, it'll start getting super frizzy. So, and especially cause I'm not holding it there for a, min a minute and then letting it go, it can get super frizzy. So um, when I'm using this, I generally just hold it here just for a couple seconds, let it down and just super lightly bring it up to my head. So um, scarf or shirt, diffuser, if you're using one that you can put on um, a setting that's cooler, just let it sit there for, I don't know, like 30 seconds. If you're patient enough, longer, I'm not. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm using this right now because I think she just went, I think she just woke up and fussed a little bit because I don't hear her anymore. But um, because of that, because the second I start doing something, she's done with her nap. So um, this does quicker, it dries it quicker. So I like to use it in times like this when I need to quick and do it. If not, I use my black orchid, which I can take a little bit longer because it's on a lower setting. So I'm gonna get back to diffusing. Okay, so as you can see, there's lots of volume, um, but the spirals are just thinner. When I do it with the making sure there's clumps and all those things, this is like one big tube. <laughs> These kind of still do it um, when I do it this way, but I'm not done diffusing yet, but I just wanted to give you a little glimpse um, before I'm completely finished what it looks like. So see, they're just like um, thinner, thinner curls instead of big ones. I like the look of the big ones. It is a little bit harder to style, um, but I like the volume this way. So like I said, I accidentally ran into this non-technique technique just out of sheer exhaustion and really not caring. <laughs> so um, yeah, if you're struggling, you need a little more, more volume um, and you don't really care about clumps, then this might be a good thing to try. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna finish diffusing. Also, one more um, diffusing tip. I'll just shoot it with cold all over my head 
and then that's when I will be done. If I feel a place, another good thing about doing that is when it's cold all over, I can feel if there's a place that's still a little damp um, so that I can go in there with some of the um, medium heat or low heat on this and make sure that it's dry dry. So when I shoot it with cold, it also helps me to make sure that everything is dry. Okay, I'm gonna finish. Okay, so here are my results from my non-technique technique. technique. <laughs> And I like it, it is actually quicker than when I actually do the clumping and all of that um, because I don't leave a ton of water in it when I put the products in. I'll take my scarf or my shirt and I'll actually get some of the water out so it dries quicker, which is always good. And I get much more volume. So I am for sure, I may have fallen into this, but Pretty sure I'm just gonna keep doing this way, this, it this way, um, even when I am actually getting some sleep. So these are the results as far as parting goes. So whichever way my hair falls, that I feel like the curls fall more naturally. So here's this side, and then here's this side, and I feel like they're just a little more wonky and it kind of falls in my face more so I might just keep it this way but honestly that's how I part my hair <laughs> I just let it fall and whichever way I feel like it is falling more naturally then I'll just keep it that way so guys thank you so much for watching if you try this and love it let me know and hey if you try this and hate it let me know that too. I love hearing what works for people and what doesn't. So thanks again for watching and have a great day. Bye.